And these were the things that helped me. And some simple things I'll tell you now is it's just as easy to sit while you're eating food and watch Stranger Things or I don't know, I forget what other shows are there. Sweet uh, Suits. I always say House of Cards Suits or um, Office, Game of Thrones. Yes. Thank you. There we go. Uh, it's just as easy to sit there and watch that as eating food and just watching something on Python. And it, you don't have to make it feel like it's some kind of thing that you have to do. And if you don't do it, it's like homework assignment. It's like work. Just think of it like, oh, cool, like sweet. I get to learn this. And right after I'm done eating food, you know what? I'm just going to put together something for my friends. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be an insult generator. And it's going to be hosted on Heroku, Heroku, which lets you put your websites online. And you could be like, they could just go to it and type in, ins you know, type in whatever or type in their name and it automatically generates an insult or maybe it automatically generates a compliment. So they go to your little Python app that you made and they type in, you know, Rafi Kazi. My name is Rafi Kazi and it says, Rafi Kazi, you're awesome. And then and if somebody else types it in, you know, Kluxi or Mustafa types it in, he goes, Mustafa, it says, Mustafa, you're great or Mustafa, you rock. But if you want to create an insult generator, it could be like, Mustafa, you suck. Mustafa, you're horrible. And it could just be hilarious. So have fun and have these ideas that make you have fun with it. And then you'll improve at the same time having fun. And then you'll improve a lot faster. It's like how animals learn. They don't sit there like the tiger dad is not going like has a whiteboard and this is how you run. This is how you hunt they just let the kids run around and have fun and then figure out how to do all that. Same way if you're trying to learn football, soccer, basketball, instead of having a teacher sit there on a chalkboard teaching you theory for all so long, just go out and kick the damn soccer ball, have some fun with it, try to do some tricks and mess up, try to shoot, shoot it in the hoop and mess up. It's who cares if your form is off, who cares if you suck at dancing practice it, improve. And then when you watch the video, you're like, Oh, I'm connecting the dots. It's fun. And I could be building things as I go along, I could be taking things from my head and putting them out there into the real world that people could use that people could share and could not only be fun little games for my friends and family and for myself and inside jokes, which is awesome, but could also be something that could make an impact in the world could also be something that makes me money could also be something that gets me that job that I've always wanted and could also be something that becomes my way of being able to travel and wake up whenever I want to and work from wherever I want to. I just had a talk with uh, one of the students from my older courses, OOP courses. His name is Nazar Mali, and he told me that he's a CG generalist freelancer. And the reason why he loves freelancing, for example, is that he doesn't have to do a two. He doesn't have to do a commute that saves him two hours. So one cool thing is he can wake up and boom, be at work. So he's never late. Another cool thing is that he's a father and he gets to spend time with his little daughter. He gets to see his daughter grow up. He doesn't have to miss those moments with his daughter, those special moments. And that's invaluable. I don't know about you, but I can't put a price on it. And that's what I mean when I talk about a rich life. It's not just money, but it's other things involved in there. And then he went on to make $1,200 um, using Python in four hours. So after he took my course, he built this thing that he could use to automate uh, these graphics. All right. And he, he was telling me that it took the team in Brazil seven days to do this. And it took him four hours to do the same thing. And he charged the same as that entire Brazilian team charged. And he pocketed $1,200 and got it done in four hours. So think about that. Somebody who works as a, as a graphic artist or you know somebody who's working on creating animations and graphics and videos gets to use Python to automate it. So even whatever you're currently doing, you could use it and it could be practical. It could help you boost your income. Even if you love your job, it could help you get that promotion. Maybe you're not ready to just leave your job and jump into Python, which I get can be scary. I had, I read this comment by this girl, I forget her name, but basically she said, I have a job, I'm a single mom. I have to take care of my son and I have to take care of myself. So I can't just leave my job, but I wanna use Python to earn that side income. You could be doing the same thing. 
I get it. Some of us have a lot of responsibilities and we can't just jump the ship and burn the bridges and storm the boats. We have to go uh, one by one. So why not integrate Python into your life to become more valuable at your job? Maybe get a raise. If you can't do that, maybe do some side projects on the weekends. And if you put in 10 hours at $50 an hour in one or two days, you're bringing in $2,000 extra. That's $24,000 extra per year. If you add on another client or you increase your rate, all of a sudden you're bringing in three or $4,000 extra per month. And now you could start to maybe think about changing from your current job and going Python, you know, all the way. <laughs>